By all appearances, Norm and Virginia were living the American dream. But someone has to pay for that private plane and all that Louis Vuitton. When Norman catches his wife cheating, Virginia suggests they start playing together. And the couple takes up swinging. If their swinger's lifestyle wears off, and things start to unravel again. Norman and Virginia are at each other's throats. The police had domestic arguments. They were out there all the time. Having all the parties and the affairs would definitely put a big strain on a marriage. And any time that you have parties involved, you have drama that usually follows. Despite Elizabeth's constant shadowing, Alberto decides he must carry on with his life. I hesitated to let her in the house. The determined gunman forces his way inside. Alberto doesn't see Elizabeth. Dodging bullets, he grabs a cordless phone and races outside. As he runs from his assassin, Alberto is shot one final time. I don't want to take emergency. I need an ambulance. I want to I need an ambulance. I need an ambulance. I've been shot. Realizing that he is quickly running out of time, Alberto pleads for a helicopter airlift. Sir, I'm going to need a helicopter. I, I didn't know who he was either. Uh, it, it was Vincent's idea. He, he already had a costume hanging around, so I was just happy to get a shot at show business, you know? Uh, my, my mom and my aunt always said I should be in show business because I, I, I had such a handsome face. Well, two, two aunts, actually. Uh, one on my mother's side and uh, the other on my father's side. Uh, and the one on my father's side um, is in a nursing home. And there's a, there's a good chance that, that, that I can get us a gig there. Uh, I've just got to work out the fine, fine points, you know, but it looks good, though. <laughs> Hi, Vin. Cindy, agency producer. Of course. Hi, Cindy. I'd like you to meet my lover, Zorro. I can't wait to see what you do with this. I'm, I'm such a big fan. I was a dead body on Law & Order three times. My fiance broke up with me a couple months ago. And I'm feeling horrible about it. We went out for two years. Two years, doctor. I can't just jump back into another relationship now. She's done everything for me. She's done everything I ever wanted. She, she cooks me dinner. She irons my clothes. I mean, look at my shirt now. I mean, I, I didn't cheat on her or anything like that. I just... You little bitch. You prissy, whiny baby. It was always about me. But what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go, what I wanted to be, and now I'm lost without her. What am I going to do? It's okay, Josh. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Yo, we got the kingdom of Yahweh here in New Haven Colony. Did you know that? You know, they sit all day at the sermon, trying to flatter God on his throne. I do not imagine the Lord has an interest in our little theocracy. And what was I doing? At meeting all day, staring at the back of old Ebenezer's bald head. <laughs> They're talking about the divine plan and sinners. And all the while, I can't wait to join them. <laughs> I ain't no witch or devil. But I swear to God, I'll have me merriment. <laughs> <laughs>